Hey everyone, it's Tyler, the Antenna Man, and today I'm going to review this Mata One indoor antenna. It's an amplified flat indoor antenna that claims, oh wow, 250 mile range, just like the last antenna I reviewed. I mean, it's not like a foreign antenna company would lie about the mileage range on this super duper HD digital antenna, would they? Nah, that would never happen. If you're a cord cutter or use an antenna, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to receive a notification whenever I post a new video. Before I get into this antenna review, I need to explain a few things about indoor antennas. They typically work in fair to strong signal areas within 30 miles of the broadcast towers, depending on certain factors, like your home's building material and how many trees you have around your house. Too much tree coverage will likely require an attic or outdoor antenna. There's no such thing as an HD or digital antenna. HD and digital are just keywords antenna companies use to get their products to show up on search results for people who think HD antennas are a real thing and just type in HD antenna on Amazon. Mileage claims are also bogus on most indoor antennas, like this 250 mile indoor antenna. Stay with me for a little bit longer and I'll give this antenna a piece of my mind. While you will always get the best reception and most channels possible with an outdoor antenna, there is one way to find out if you stand a chance to pick up all the major networks with an indoor antenna. On your web browser, go to rabbitears.info, click on signal search, drag and zoom the pin drop to your location, change the height above ground to 13 feet, and click on go. This will generate a reception report at your location. If you see most of the local channels with signals listed as good, there's a good chance you might be able to use an indoor antenna. Anything else that's listed as fair or poor, you will probably need an attic or outdoor setup. While you have the reception report on your screen, pay attention to the RF channel numbers in parentheses. These are the channels each TV station broadcasts on, and it's usually different than what they show on air. Any channel that's 7 through 13 highlighted in yellow is high VHF and may require a longer antenna element to be picked up, but can sometimes be picked up with a flat antenna if the signal is strong enough. So back to this antenna. The design seems to be that of a very basic flat indoor antenna that's mainly optimized for UHF channels 14 through 36. Remember that you typically need a longer antenna element for VHF channels 7 through 13, like a good set of rabbit ears. The antenna comes with an amplifier and a 16-foot cable, but those are the only good things about this antenna. Now time for the issues. The design of the antenna is a little bit flimsy. It's kind of curved in a bit. Like if you try to straighten it out like this, it just folds back in. It has a hair-thin cable that's going to result in signal loss or easy interference. In a previous video of mine, I demonstrated how the coax cable can have a huge impact on reception. With an antenna, it's best to use a thick, high-quality RG6 quad shield cable that looks like this. Not like this, and because the cable is built into the antenna, you can't replace it. What's ironic is the company showed a picture of what looks like a quality coax cable on the Amazon page, yet the antenna comes with one that looks like this that can't even stand up on its own. The other thing I can't stand about this antenna is the bogus 250 mile range claim. TV signals tend to disappear over the horizon between 70 to 80 miles from the broadcast towers due to the curvature of the earth, so any antenna that claims beyond 100 mile range is likely junk. The mileage claims on most antennas are not accurate at all. What matters is how the antenna is designed for certain TV frequencies, VHF and UHF. This antenna is a very basic flat indoor antenna with pretty much no gain. It's not going to work as well as a larger antenna no matter what the mileage claim is. How well does this antenna work? I tested it out in a new location with a bunch of other indoor antennas to see how it performs. Here are the stations I'll be testing out with this antenna, the RF channel they broadcast on, and the results of the last two antennas I tested out on the YouTube channel. There are three UHF channels and two VHF channels. The signal on WNEP, which broadcasts on UHF channel 21, 
was lower on this antenna than the Jessabyte flat antenna and about the same as the Luxtronic antenna. WYOU on VHF channel 12 couldn't be picked up on this antenna, likely due to lack of VHF capability. WBRE on VHF channel 11 also could not be picked up with this antenna. WOLF, which broadcasts on UHF channel 22, couldn't really be picked up with this antenna as well, with the exception of a few pixels here and there. Of course, this antenna didn't pick up the repeater of NJPBS on UHF channel 27. Why would it? This antenna is junk. Complete junk. One of the worst antennas I tested out. Don't waste your money on it. It could only pick up one of the five TV stations that, frankly, most antennas could pick up, even other flat antennas. This antenna's poor performance can likely be blamed on the hair-thin coaxial cable and noisy amplifier. I usually always recommend any antenna for some situations, but not this one. Well, actually, maybe this antenna would be good to give to someone you don't like. Tell them it's the best HD antenna out there and tell them to cancel their cable. Give it to them and let them suffer with unreliable TV reception. <laughs> Seriously, we all have that one coworker or relative we just don't like. So give them this antenna and tell them this is a really good antenna. I get over 100 channels with it. You really need to cancel your cable right now and set this up. If you're looking for a decent indoor antenna, I include a link to a list of recommended antennas in the description of the video. With any indoor antenna setup, it's critical to use some kind of signal meter as a guide to find the best location for it. Moving an antenna as little as a few feet can have a huge impact on reception, which I showed in a previous video of mine. If you plan on using an indoor antenna, I highly recommend the Mediasonic or iView digital converter box. Both have a signal mirror that comes up if you press the info button twice, which is very helpful to find the best spot for an indoor antenna. I include a link to both models along with an instructional video for the Mediasonic DTV box in the description of the video. I'll be releasing other indoor antenna reviews in the future, so be sure to stay tuned to my YouTube channel. I was truly amazed at how well and how poor some performed. I mean, there was one antenna that performed worse than this one. If you don't want to wait for the videos or would rather just set up an outdoor antenna first, feel free to sign up for an antenna recommendation from me on my website at antennamanpa.com. I'll eliminate all of the guesswork and give you information on the best antenna for your location based on my experience testing out over 100 antenna models and actually installing them in four TV markets. I appreciate all of you who continue to support my YouTube channel by watching these videos even though you probably know that the antenna I'm reviewing isn't that good. I promise not all of the indoor antennas I'm reviewing will be bad. Some of them are actually really good. I just need to get some of the bad ones out of the way first to tackle the problem of the manipulation of search results on Amazon and get to people who are looking up HD antennas before they buy a piece of junk. Additional thanks to everyone who supports me on Patreon or is a member of my YouTube channel. If my videos helped you cut the cord or if you just think they're cool and would like to help support them while gaining exclusive perks, which has behind the scenes content, access to my videos ad free one day early, and direct contact with me, visit patreon.com forward slash antenna man or click the join button in this video. If you're on Facebook, you can like my Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash antenna man PA. If you're not on Facebook and would like to receive email updates whenever I post new videos, feel free to sign up to my email list. I attached a link in the description of the video. Stay tuned to my YouTube channel for more cord cutting and antenna related videos and have an awesome day.